What did I learn from Animal Crossing? What did I learn from Animal Crossing? What I learned in Animal Crossing. Well, I wanted to think of something to say. I learned the world is actually not that bad of a place. I think one of the things that I've learned the most is that people are completely oblivious to the world around them. People will give you opportunities. I mean, you meet this guy named Nook. They put a false standard for how nice people are. And he's just this humble little businessman trying to run his own, uh, like, curio shop in one game. Later on, he runs, like, a Home Depot. Best things ever. And he'll give you a loan, build you a house with his own two hands. You can walk up to one of the animals and talk to them and say, oh hey, how was your day? My day was pretty nice. I got this nice little sweater. It's like nobody fucking cares about your sweater. They're your best friends. And then, what does he do? He gives you forever to pay it off. Oh, that's the other cool thing about it. And then, once you do pay it off, he'll upgrade your house and give you another loan that's forever. He never nags you. They're your worst enemy. He never nags you for that loan. You can get people to shut up just by sending them a letter. You meet all these people. They're so nice to you. They'll forgive you if you just send them a letter. Fuck all the social media stuff that we have nowadays. Fuck Facebook, Twitter, all that kind of stuff. All you have to do is send a nice letter. And it's because you're nice to them, you're your friend, so... And all of a sudden, their entire demeanor changes because you find them. If you make friends with people, you, you make contacts, you reach out to people, the world is a better place. They f believe that you find them that special. It's not what you know or what you do, it's who you know and how you treat them that get you through life. It just blows my mind on how stupid people are. It doesn't make sense. Much like Animal Crossing, life is pretty unpredictable. In one of the games, you're the mayor of the town. How's that happen? You know, you pretty much learn that along the way. People just show up randomly at your town random days. You, you can't prepare for it. Just because you showed up at the right place at the right time and everybody was waiting for a nice person to come along. Haskell? You know they're going to be there, but you don't know what days they're going to be there never gonna come. And that's who you are. You are the friend. You take care of them not because you're the mayor and you have control over things. I could be walking around with a shovel and all of a sudden I just dig a pothole and then I start pushing them into it and they won't even realize it. But because you are friendly and build up relationships with these people. I'll even fucking dig up, dig up a hole, put a pitfall in them put a pitfall in the hole and then push it towards it and they fall right into it and they act like nothing happened. You just have to kind of hope for the best. And that's the way Animal Crossing is. You struggle to get money until you actually have money. Then you have too much money. So, like, for God's sakes, just be more attentive to the world that's going on around you. Pretty much how Animal Crossing is, you start from the bottom. You have absolutely nothing and you stay poor for quite some time. And then once you actually have money, you, you're better than everybody else in the town. I fucking walk up to somebody with an axe and start swinging it at their head and they won't even realize it. They'll... You're pretty much the best person in the town and you control everything. Maybe at times they'll go, oh hey, can you please stop doing that? But they won't even realize that it was me most of the time. I mean, yeah, you still have to buy stuff from the shop, but you're still better than everybody else. And that's really what life is about, right? Being better than everyone else. That is Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing is you being friends. Animal Crossing taught me that I am better than everybody else that's ever lived. The animal, so I can't really like justify it. Because you're the one human. There's nobody else that's a human. You're the only person there, so you have to automatically be better than everybody. And friends helping each other and showing that life in the harsh world is not that bad of a place as long as everyone sticks together. That's how life is. That's Animal Crossing. And that's what I learned from Animal Crossing. People are still pretty Hey everybody, thanks for watching what I learned in. Expect a new episode from an exciting game next week. And remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this with all your friends. This is The Metal, and we'll see you next time.